So, what actually are sinkholes and what causes them? Well, at the basic level, sinkholes are the sudden appearance of holes in the ground in what had, up until then, been apparently solid ground. And two key things are needed for sinkholes to actually appear. First is an excess of water. This can be in the form of rainwater or an underground stream or even a burst water main or sewer. Next thing is the rock underneath where the hole is going to appear needs to be either water soluble or easily eroded by the water. This is most common if the rock is mainly a dolomite or a limestone. The process will be accelerated if the water is somewhat acidic, which is common in rainwater where carbon dioxide dissolves in the water to form a weakened form of carbonic acid. The water then collects in the rock layers, eating away at them or eating away at the cement binding the rock together. Then underneath the surface as the water drains off it also carries with it all the dissolved rock leaving behind a cavern or a cast. The presence of these sometimes can be noticed in that when new rain falls on the ground it very rapidly drains away through the cracks in the ground or soil as it goes in to fill up these caverns. And once the underlying rock has gone the soil then falls down into the hole and you have your sinkhole, except if it occurs in an urban area. In towns and cities, sinkholes are likely to occur in areas covered by pavement, concrete or some kind of other artificial skin on top of the soil. Here the soil will be gone, but the structure of the covering will remain intact until, until some weight is actually placed upon the surface. With nothing left to support the covering, it's then likely to collapse under the pressure, which is why people, cars or even buses sometimes fall into sinkholes as these have enough weight to collapse the surface and fall into the sinkhole. Sometimes sinkholes may also be produced in areas where they've had extensive mine workings and also destabilised the underground layers. However, all of this aside, sinkholes can be quite dramatic, they're still relatively rare events so your chances of falling into one are far less than being struck by lightning. So they're interesting, but don't be worried by them too much.